What is cracking, Sushi Rose? You guys, I'm back from the video. So, as you guys can probably tell, today we got some Hawaiian barbecue. Ah. I have a story time for you guys. The story time is when I seen a demon in my sleep. You guys remember yesterday, you guys were said, please, please tell us, tell us. So, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. I, it's really, honestly, a little freaky. Now, that's way, way freaky. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we got some Hawaiian barbecue. We got the. Yes, y'all like it this close? Um, it's called the Barbecue Rib Mix. Thank you to my subscriber, Duarte Ohana, Duarte, Duarte Ohana, or something like that. They recommended me to come to this place. This is not Ono Hawaiian Barbecue. This is a new place, so I'm really going to try and put it to the test, see if it's better than Ono Hawaiian Barbecue. Um, got some shrimps. Fried shrimps. Side of Max Salad, let's try their Max Salad one. Mmm. It's good, it's good. Their Max Salad is really good actually. Um, got more shrimps. That's just cabbage. We don't need that. <laughs> um, oh, got some chicken katsu. Is basically the fried chicken. All this was thirty-five dollars. I I went all out today. Um, and this is what is this? All oh, the little spam things. Spam musubis. One thing of teriyaki and one thing of katsu sauce. Oh shit, it's spilling. And yeah, we're just gonna go ham. We're gonna go in. And that's it. So. I need some sriracha. Look how crispy this is. Hold on, let's see how crispy it is. I need some of that kitty Q sauce. <sighs> mm. Okay. Mm. Let's try it in the teriyaki sauce. Mmm. I'm sorry, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for having Jesus with us. Mm hmm So, the story goes a little something like this. So, two nights ago, a 
two nights ago, I was talking to my friend on the phone. And this was maybe around eight o'clock. My room was dark, okay? I only have my night light on in over here. So my, my, my room door's open and just a little bit of light comes through just from like the uh, from out here, you know? So a little bit of light comes through. And I'm asleep, and I'm talking to her, and she's talking to me, and I'm starting to fall asleep. I'm, I'm already falling asleep. At this point, I'm already falling asleep. And, um... She's talking, and I can hear her talking to me. Because me and her fall asleep together on the phone sometimes, whatever. So she was, so she was talking to me, and My phone's up, and we're on FaceTime call, so there's a little bit of light starting to come from the phone. The room's dark. The phone's next to me, and I'm, like, asleep. I'm, I am I can tell I was already asleep. I don't, I'm not sure if I was waking up from the sleep or if I wasn't fully asleep yet, but I was asleep, and I was like, dozing off, and my eyes were open, and there was something in front of my, my face, and I was like, I was just staring at it. And I was like, uh, uh, I, I was like petrified. I was absolutely petrified that I couldn't even move. I couldn't even talk. I was like, and I was, and I, and I could still hear her talking because she was talking very, very soft because like we're retired. So like, um, I could hear her talking and her voice, like as more I'm staring at it, her voice in the background keeps getting drowned out. Like it starts starting to like get sucked out. Like, it's very getting more softer and softer, but it, it, it sounds like she's getting far, like, far away, far away, far away. It's almost like an echoing sound. So I was like, I was trying to scream for her, like, name or whatever, but I didn't. Uh, I was just like, and I was trying to move, uh, and, I, and I couldn't move. And I was like this, like, looking, like, my, the only thing that I was able to move were my eyes, and I was like, I was trying to squint to see what that, like, what, okay, so, so as I hear her talking, I was like, I couldn't move. I was trying to, like, move out of my face. I was, I was my mind was like saying, move, Steven, move. I was laying down like 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 this. Opening my eyes, I was like, uh, like, uh, uh, you know? I was, I, was, I, was, I was trying to move my body, but like, it wouldn't move. And then I was like, you know what? I have to like, just like, uh, like, like sneeze or something to get out of it. Anyways, I seen a face there and it was like this girl's face. Like, okay, it was, it was, it was like a girl's face, but. I'm laying here, but she was staring at the wall behind me, and she wasn't looking at me. Like, she wasn't, like, looking at me. And, like, her face looked like it was a wooden, like, it was, like, carved, like, with wood. Like, it was, like, her face, like, I was, there was a face, but I was trying to make it out the face, but I really couldn't make it out, but I knew that it was a face there. And it was, like, this girl's face, and her face was carved with, like, wood, but it wasn't, like, a, it was almost like a Jenga. Like, you know Jenga? Like, it was almost like that, like, the game Jenga, where, like, you piled the blocks it was almost like that like her face was blocked but it was like carved with with wood and it was scary because i felt like an evil scary presence and i was scared because i just felt it you know you, you like you know when you feel something evil and scary so i was like staring at it the eyes were not looking at me. I couldn't even see the eyes. It was like too hollow. And she was just staring at the wall. If she would have looked at me like she was staring at the wall, if she would have looked at me like that, I would have been over. Like, oh hell no. Like, I'm out of here, you know? So.
her, her, the ghost face was carved in like wood, like a Jenga wood. No, I could still hear my friend talking. And I'm like, uh. I'm trying to make a, make like a sound. And It is so crazy because I haven't had sleep. On, I don't call it, honestly. I don't call it sleep paralysis. People call it sleep paralysis. I think people call it sleep paralysis because it's it's not. People try to justify people who don't believe in God and like spiritual realm and stuff. I think that they try to justify that there is no God and no evil spiritual realm. So they they call it like this scientific thing called sleep paralysis, where your body goes into like a state of like you can't move. I feel like it is a spiritual attack from Satan, like the like like the enemy, you know. And I'm not trying to glorify that or anything, but it's it's just the truth. That's what I strongly believe in. That that was an attack from the devil. Doctors and scientists, because they try to deny the existence of God or whatever, you know. So I I feel that. It's not sleep paralysis. I feel like it is some sort of attack from from the enemy. So I was there. I couldn't move. I felt this evil presence. I was scared. My eyes were open. Well, I think my eyes were open. I, every time I have to be processed, I don't know if my eyes are open or if they're closed. That I just fall asleep staring like, like if, I don't know if I just fall asleep staring like at that same way. And when I close my eyes, I'm picturing the same way. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what it is. But it's so crazy because my little niece, Cupcake, she experienced something like it too. She was in her room. I don't know if Ari told the story, but she was in her room and there was a little girl with like a little pink jacket on standing next to, to the desk, jogging in place, jogging in place with her hands over her face, trying to be cute. But, you know, it was like it was like a devil. She said she felt an evil presence, like it, like it felt scary. And she was she was staring and she could not move. I don't know why that always happens when, like, spiritual things, like, spiritual attacks. I, I call them spiritual attacks. We, we call them spiritual attacks. When there's spiritual attacks that, that happen and we, like, we can't move. The only way that I, let me, let me tell you guys this. The only way that I've ever, ever got out of one of those spiritual attacks is if I said Jesus. That's, I just say one name. I say Jesus. And, because you guys know that I'm a, I am a Christian. So, I say Jesus and, um... That's the only way that it breaks loose. Like I, like I, even if it's in my mind, I say Jesus, like help, like, and I guarantee you, it snaps right there. Like that spiritual paralysis is gone, like at, at least for that second, you know. Or oh, spiritual paralysis, I I'll call it spiritual paralysis because it's, I don't know if it's called sleep, but I I call it more of like a spirit. I don't know the scientific studies behind sleep paralysis. Why they call it sleep paralysis? But my little niece, she said that there was like this little girl with ugly clothes on. Her shoes did, did, did not match. And it's funny how these spiritual um, prowess are so detailed. Like I couldn't, like that face that I seen, it was... Not like jigsaw, but it was like Jenga, like wood blocks, but it was carved wood, and I couldn't really see it. The face wasn't really too scary, because but I, there was something there. That's what made it scary. 
the fact that I couldn't move. Oh yeah. So my little niece, a cupcake sprinkle. She was asleep. And she was asleep and she opened up her eyes or whatever and she said that she couldn't move. And there was a little girl next to the desk with un a matching clothes with a little hoodie on, jogging in place with her hands over her face. And she like said that it was it was trying to talk to her. Like it was trying to be friendly with her. Like it was it was trying to be cute. But you obviously know that the devil is like a, like comes inside sheep's um a wolf in sheep's clothing. Or try to look like everything's good, but on the other side it's like really, really bad. And yeah, so Even my little niece experienced that too. Has this happened to any of you guys at all? Were you crying? Like, I don't know why that happens. I feel that there's something on my chest. Like there's something holding me down and I, and I can't move. Like I can't move. It's like I'm like asleep or like I'm like just falling asleep and it's like I can't move I'm like trying to like I could feel like my body like, uh, like trying to wake up you know like trying to get up the only times that I ever get out of it is if I say Jesus somehow this past time I didn't say Jesus and um, I was just there and I was I was like Stephen move in my mind like, I could hear my mind telling me what to do like my mind was saying Stephen do this like move this so I had to like I remember it's so clear. Like I, I tried to move my body, but I couldn't move it. I was like, um, like cough or something, like do something, you know, to kind of like just snap out of it. But yeah, I feel like there was something watching me there. There was, hopefully this isn't scary. Hopefully this isn't, hopefully this isn't scary you guys, but this is like real, real stuff. Like the, like this whole spiritual realm is very, very real. If you don't believe it, I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> but, um, Have you guys experienced anything like it? Have you guys seen ever seen anything super and natural that you couldn't explain? I know I have. Lots of times. Um, like oh, like there was this one of my mom. Oh, that was almost scary. She heard like um, that was a good one. If you guys want to hear that one, uh, like uh, about my mom. We have so many, I feel like we have so many spiritual stories, like, I don't really have a lot of story times, like, in real life, but there's a lot of spiritual stuff that, that's happened to our family, that we just couldn't explain, if we told people, they would think that we're crazy, but, Chai Tea Boba, it's crazy. I remember that there was just one of of that there was just one of my there was just one of my mom. It didn't recently happen. Oh, you know what? There's tartar sauce here. I wonder if I wonder how that'll wonder how that'll taste with the. Ooh, that doesn't smell good. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, <coughs> tartar sauce makes me. Uh, her. Ooh, let me get that smell out of my nose. Where's my drink at? There's so many spiritual stuff that, that, that happens to us. We can't explain it. But we can't explain it because we know that it's spiritual and we know that it's not that we're not going crazy, you know? But yeah, guys, if you guys want to hear that story about my mom... Um, this is, I think I've, I've told that story like a few times... I think I've even told it when I lived here, but, um, yeah, there was, like, the story where she heard people whispering, like, it was just crazy, and then she heard, like, cards shuffling, and, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's just crazy, and then, like, my dad, oh, my dad used to get, oh, these calls that my dad used to get in the middle of the night, 
those were so spirit like oh my god guys let me tell you guys if you guys want to hear those stories please comment down in the description give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to hear the story on the next video my dad probably got one of the most craziest spiritual attacks like ever like it was becoming so not only physical but spiritual it was just really really crazy but yeah guys if you guys want to if you guys want to hear that video or those stories please give a thumbs up i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace